Hi everyone and welcome to the Google My Business Problem series. My name is Brooke Borup with My Clone, and this month we are talking to Anna Craigan, who just happens to be the most amazing automation clone here at My Clone. And today we are going to talk about what kinds of things that you do every day in your business, in your life, whatever, that you can automate, which is something that is like foreign for a lot of people, but it's being talked about so much more now that we really need to dig into this so that you have a clearer picture. So today, Anna is gonna talk about that clear picture and hopefully we'll come out on the other end and have it not be muddy for you. So <laughs> Anna, what kind of things can we automate? Well, we can automate almost everything. And my philosophy with automation is that our human brain is really not wired to do a lot of the things that we're doing in our business. So remembering appointments or um, remembering to follow up or just sending people emails at a consistent frequency. Our brains don't think like that. Some things are just better left to a computer. So I'm just gonna give you a few examples of the things that you can automate. And hopefully by the end of this list, you're gonna have some ideas of your own of uh, what you can uh, leave to a computer instead of having to remember yourself. So any business needs to create sales, right? That's the purpose of a business is to sell. So the very first thing that you can automate is that sales and follow-up process. So I'm sure you've heard that a lot of sales happen in the follow-up. They don't happen the first time that you talk to somebody. So that follow-up and staying top of mind is really, really important. However, if you have you know, hundreds or maybe thousands of leads in your CRM, you may not remember to send them the right follow-up at the right time, you know, um, consistently enough so that they remember you for when they have a need for your services. So that's the first thing that you can automate is your sales and follow-up process. Any CRM can do this by setting up a sequence and then whenever somebody comes in, they get all the emails that you set up ahead of time and you don't have to worry about it until they actually schedule an appointment with you or purchase your product and then you're pleasantly surprised because you didn't have to do anything. Any of that, the, the CRM and the computer did that for you. So that's definitely the number one thing that should be automated for any business in any industry. It is possible. The second thing is for what happens after you get the purchase is if is uh, the onboarding process for the new product or a membership that you have or maybe a new client that you are working with as a coach. Um, I seem to be using coach as an example recently, so <laughs> just let's just roll with it. Um, basically. When somebody first purchases your product, they need to um, they need a little bit of hand holding to show them to create kind of the experience that you want for them, right? To show them how to use the product, the any ideas that you have about using the product uh, effectively, anything that makes it easier for you to start working with that client or customer as well, and that can absolutely be automated by you guessed it another sequence in your CRM. So you can send them a series of emails or videos with tips and resources and how to get started. You could send them all kinds of things to make the experience of becoming a, your new customer a really positive five-star one. So that's the other thing. Um, the third thing is uh, for when you are running a, a podcast, you're hosting a podcast and you have guests come onto the podcast and scheduling is one of those things that always seems to get people crazy because going back and forth with emails like, are you available on this time? Or are you, no, this time doesn't work for me. How about this day and this time? You know, multiply that by a couple of hundred people and you've got yourself a really big problem. So uh, uh, when you are scheduling anything, automation is definitely the way to go. Having an automated uh, scheduling system or like an online calendar that people can just pick their time that they want without having to play email tag or phone tag or even, you know, phone tag is even worse than email really. Um, but yeah, having an automated calendar is the best. And guess what? You can also use your CRM to automate what happens after they schedule their appointment. So if you ever have a podcast guests that need you to get their information, um, that can also be a task and a half to get them to, get them to give you their information. So that can be automated with reminders and follow-up emails and all kinds of things. 
as well as if it's an appointment for a client. Maybe you need to have them uh, complete a questionnaire before you can actually start working with them. And they keep forgetting, you know, week after week after week. You can have an automated follow-up sequence and after, you know, maybe three to five times, they get reminded, then you call them. But most people will probably uh, do that before, so then you don't have to actually touch it. So automation is great for any time that you have anybody schedule anything with you, whether it be a podcast or a coaching session or anything like that. Definitely don't need to, wor um, to worry about playing phone tag or email tag when you have that automation power in your business. Um, going along with the sales, another thing that you can use uh, an automation sequence for is to segment prospects for like maybe an e-commerce store. So maybe you, uh, you run an e-commerce store where uh, people can purchase gift bundles for new moms. So you may have the mothers purchasing the bundle for themselves, or you may have family members purchasing a bundle for the new mom. So you, you can have, you can segment, you, using an automation, you can segment that into two different sequences, one for gift givers and one for the actual moms. So then you have much more tailored content that is more likely to lead to a sale at the end of that. So it's another great way that you can use automations because uh, a lot of the times people think, oh, if I just automate my newsletters, they sound so impersonal. Well, an automation can take care of that by asking, you know, hey, are you buying for yourself or are you buying for a friend or family member? And then you can send them highly targeted content that they will feel is more personal than just getting a cookie cutter, a template or email. So computer can take care of that for you too. Um, and of course, other things that you can um, automate is sending your proposals, sending contracts, or even getting leads in the first place. So there are tools and, um, and apps and software and all kinds of things that help make it really easy for you to send out your contract, to get it digitally signed, returned to you, so you don't have to worry about you know, scanning a, a document, you know, signing it by hand, scanning it back which adds a lot of um, hours to your day and is really not necessary in this day and age where everybody is used to signing things and doing things online. So um, yeah, anything that a computer can do, let the computer do it because uh, your, your brain wasn't meant to handle all of these things and you, know, you don't have to deal with that sort of anxiety. So yeah, anything that you can automate, you should. <laughs> and see, that's why she's here, everyone. All right. So she knows what she's talking about. She builds these things every single day. You don't have to know how it happens. You only have to know what the process is that you want to happen. You know, I talk about this at my clone. I do workshops on this because I think in funnels, I think about what when they do this then i need this and when this happens this needs to happen but if you're look if you're not quite there if you're just like eh, they gave you the credit card and i go through and i do this this and this you already have a process so if you start there and you start writing down all of those different pieces that you do you know once somebody hands you a credit card or once this gets signed or once this happens right all of those are goals in our business so if we can write down that process of what happens with all of those clients, then you can go back and you can look for holes in that process. And now you take that and you automate it. You know, I will tell you that, you know, podcasters, I've been around the podcasting world for a really long time and it didn't, somebody came to me and said, I need to streamline and make this a productive process. It just happened to be a productivity coach. <laughs> and that productivity coach said, how do I automate this? How do I make this happen so that my, I can um, take an application for a guest? I can, the guests can schedule themselves. I can approve or deny them. Um, I can get all of their information that I need. It can go into my, um, my Google Doc that I use for my show notes. And then it gives them all of the marketing assets and tells them how to use them. All in one thing. And sure enough, we did that. It's a 37 step process and uses three different tools, but it all happens. And then we were able to literally pick that up, move it to another podcaster, pick that up, move it to another podcaster. So we have the automation series. Now all we need to do is tailor it for that particular podcast, which really just means changing names, changing logos, changing signature lines. <laughs> Everything you want is exactly the same. 
you know? So that's just one example of being able to tailor that automation. And it's amazing because it's just crazy what you can do when you know what needs to happen when somebody does something or wants something from you. It's all about the planning. I, I love the planning. I love the content. And then once we get all of that, we turn it over to Anna and she loves the tech and loves yeah. the building. I was and, just going to say, yeah, right? <laughs> you love the planning and I love the, the doing, <laughs> the putting it in place. So Exactly, which is why we make such a great team. So um, thank you so much for being here today, everyone, um, from the team here at My Clone Solution. Um, thank you for watching the video. And if you have any questions, you can comment, you can uh, put notes in the blog, you can message us, whatever you want to do. We are here, we're all over, and uh, we hope that today you learned what kind of things you can automate so that you can start planning that for your business. We look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great rest of your week.